Patients with Dupuytren's contracture now have a non-surgical option. Hand surgeon Dr. Sanjay Sharma is the first in Central Texas to use clostridial collagenase to treat Dupuytren's contracture. But what it is is a um, uh, disease of the fascia of the hand, which is a covering in the hand that kind of covers all the tendons and the muscle in the hand, that over time gradually contracts. Debbie is no stranger to Dupuytren's contracture. She's seen it affect her family. It's hereditary. My brother and my dad both had it, but they had to have the operation. Debbie is trying to avoid surgery, but in the past few months, she says the tightness and contractures in her small and ring finger have gotten worse. Here is where I can feel the the tightness of the band, I can see where it kind of dimples her skin a little bit. Now there's an opportunity to intervene perhaps at an earlier stage. Uh, rather than get the disease process where it's all the way down here, perhaps it's just a little bent, it's a little flexed, I can't quite do what I want to do. We can inject a collagenase, which is an enzyme that breaks down the collagen fibers that make up this uh, Dupuytren's cord, this cord. Debbie is looking forward to getting back normal use of her hand. Oh, everyday problems like taking a bath, washing the dishes, <laughs> washing your hair. Right. It really just affects your day-to-day -day life. That over time, when you can't seem to get your hand open, then you can't get your hand around a Coke can, you can't open a door, you can't turn a key, um, to where at some point the disease process will contract the hand down to um, uh, the small finger and the ring finger, so you're almost left with a uh, deficient hand of actually trying to do anything with it. This is stage one of the procedure. Only time will tell if it works. Um, just a little bit of burning, but just very, very little. 24 hours later, Debbie is back at the office for Dr. Sharma to perform a release procedure and stretch out the cord. But while she's waiting for the procedure, Debbie says she felt a little snap. It's definitely straighter. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I can like almost hold it straight. Yeah, you started out with a contracture of approximately 45 to 65 degrees at the uh, PIP joint. And to me it looks like, and even to, to our patient, she feels like it's gotten straighter without even doing anything from just overnight. Debbie is interested in treating the other cords in her hand and is hoping to avoid surgery. So giving the patients another option, uh, I'm not saying that it delays the inevitability of, a, of an operation, but it may give them a few years that they really enjoy the fact that they don't have to have an operation. Their hands are free and they're ready to move right away. For more information about treating Dupuytren's contracture, call the Hand Center at the Seton Institute of Reconstructive Plastic Surgery at 512-324-8320.